Hi, Hiram here. Some time ago I did some boil tests on this Trangia Triangle. This is a pot stand that was, was put out by Trangia to hold the mini burner, just like so. It's also, for those of you that might not know it, it's been pointed out to me that if you take this ring out, it also holds the military style Trangia burner in here. Now it won't fit in there now because I have the ring there, but put this in instead of the ring and you can use both of these burners, which is really nice. But when I did the video, I had made a comment that you could easily modify this to use aspic cubes or any other kind of solid fuel. I didn't go into detail because it, I figured everybody could figure it out, but uh, I've had a number of people ask me if I'd show what I meant to modify this. Now, on the ESPIT, this pot stand put out by ESPIT will hold the mini burner or their uh, the ESPIT version of this. But with the pot stand, can you, yeah, you have this little disc that goes in here, has a depression where you put the ESPIT cube. So basically all we need to get this to work with ESPIT is make something like that. Now, you don't have to make something fancy that fits into these grooves the same way as this does. You've already got that ring there. So all you need is a can lid that fits. Now, there are two different versions of this. The older one, there used to be a round hole here. So you could get a can lid about this size and it would fit in there. But now with it being square, it will fall through. So what I was going to use is a larger can lid. This is 3.37 inches across or 85.7 millimeters. And that fits in there just like that and stays. So then you can put your ESPIT cube on this. Now the distance between the uh, can lid here and the bottom of the pot, let's see, what did I say that is? It's about one and three quarter inches or 44.6 millimeters. So I'm not sure, that might be a little bit tall. But what I'm going to try today is I'll try a test using ESPIT, two cups of water, and let's see what kind of time we can get out of this. So let me get some water prepped. I'll get a cube in here, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, so I've got two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees. I've got one cube of ESPIT here with uh, crumbs scraped up on the top. Let's see if I can think. There it's lit. Hope you can see it. Yep. Get that to go across the cube a little bit. Okay. So again, two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, we're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 102, 103 degrees Fahrenheit, 104. Whoa, going. So just to show you what it's, how fast it's going. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 601. Okay, so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a boil in six minutes, one second. Let's, let's see how long now, boy, the smell. Now let's see how long this takes to run out. Okay, the temperature just dropped. Let's call it at uh, 11.05. Even though the flame is just barely going yet, the temperature has dropped from 2.12 to 2.11. So I usually call it there. Okay, let me just take this off. I guess I don't have to show you. See, the flames are still just barely going, but not going to count it for mess underneath there, but then that's ESPIT. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, got to a boil in six minutes, one second, and then it continued to run, and it's still burning for 11 minutes, uh, five seconds. Now, I should have, usually when I use ESPIT, I'll put a little piece of aluminum foil on whatever the platform is, that way I can just crumple this up and throw it away. In this case, I'll just throw this lid away and get myself a new one. But I think you can see it's just barely burning there yet. 
Okay, so that's how I would suggest uh, modifying the Trangia triangle to use Espit. Uh, um, you know, I don't, I don't use Espit on very often, but I do carry it for the emergency. I mean, it's great for starting a fire. Uh, it's in the packages that it comes in. It's very stable. I mean, this stuff, as long as you haven't torn the packages, this stuff will probably last for years. But I prefer alcohol. I mean, the smell and the, the mess and stuff and the mess on the bottom of the pots, I just wouldn't use it on an everyday basis. But that's just me. Anybody watching this from the Espit company, please don't, you know, don't shoot the messenger. Okay, so for those of the, that asked for this, that's how I modify it. Uh, this way this will work for the mini burner, for the military burner, and for ESPIT or any other solid fuel, uh, Coglin tablets, uh, wet fire, the whole bit. You could use the same thing. So anyway, I hope that helps. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.